this week on Outdoor Bound TV. We follow our good friend Ann Altman of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, as she and her family head to their property in northern Wisconsin for a late September bow hunt. And later, we travel to northern Minnesota with Tim Roycraft and Kevin Campbell from western Wisconsin for some early summer walleye action. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral, Deer Eat It Gone, Colby Chrysler Center, Welcome Home to Colby Chrysler, Pro Designs, Sign and Printing Solutions, Canada Outdoor Adventures, The Adventure of a Lifetime. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. On this week's show, we meet Ann Altman of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Now, Ann and her husband, John, have been planting food plots and have their game trail cameras out at their cabin in northern Wisconsin. Now, they've got some great bucks coming in, and Ann has already harvested some very good bucks over the years with her bow. Well, for the Altmans, hunting is a family affair. So let's meet Ann right now. Hi, I'm Ann Altman from Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. I'm originally from Duluth, Minnesota, where I grew up with my mom, my dad, my brother, and my sister. Um, that's where I learned the love of the outdoors. Both my parents were big outdoors people, and I think my passion for fishing came from my grandfather, Aaron. He, we would go fishing with a cane pole, and we could fish crappies and sunfish, and we would come home with a five-gallon pail full every time. It was so much fun and he would also take us out and show us his trap line and things like that. My dad was the one that taught me um, all about deer hunting and the outdoors in that sense too. Both my parents pheasant hunted and duck hunted, so we did that as a family as well. Both my parents grew up hunting, trapping, fishing when they were children with their parents. And so as we got older, and actually all through our childhood, we spent a lot of time in the outdoors, fishing up in Lake Capitogama, Lake Mille Lacs, um, doing a lot of pheasant hunting. And then as I was old enough to carry a gun and get my hunter's safety, my dad took me out hunting with he and his brothers. Obviously, I wanted to gun hunt just like he did and take up all that activity that I was able to as I turned of age. And so he had a 30-30 and it was a really special thing. He gave it to me and said that this is a gun now that you can use and this will be your gun. And so my opening morning went out, he set me up in my stand, you know, dropped me off, make sure I was up safely and then he went over to his stand and he was coming actually over to see if I was cold. It was about nine o'clock in the morning and he heard bang, bang. And he watched me shoot my first deer. And so he got to see all that and that was exciting. This is the 30-30 gun I was talking about that my dad gave to me. This is a shot my very first deer, very first morning, opening gun season. And then now Ashley, our daughter, shot her first deer with this gun as well. So another gun that has a lot of great sentiment to it. My husband John and I live in Chippewa Falls with our two daughters, Ashley and Sarah. And We've been trying to get them involved in the outdoors. Ever since they were little, we'd take them up to the cabin in Mason, Wisconsin, bring them down to the trout stream, um, take them out and sit in the buck huts during gun hunting season. And they've just had a love of it ever since. Sarah's an avid fisher woman, fisher girl, at 11 years old. Ashley's already shot um, her first deer with a gun. She shot her deer at 75 yards in um, with the open sight and we told her that that was quite a feat and that she was well on her way to being a great hunter. She's been bow hunting now for two years but isn't quite ready to take that shot at a doe yet. We're still waiting for her. She loves going out in the tree though. Sarah comes and sits out in the tree with us as well. She shoots her bow but she's not quite ready to um, hunt on her own. We spend a lot of time outdoors. It doesn't matter whether we're pan fishing around here 
on small lakes, uh, whether we're up at my mom and dad's in Minnesota, fishing on their lakes, uh, the trout stream up in Mason. We go to Canada every year, which is fun. We take a big group of family and we go up there. And we've been doing that since the kids were babies, taking them up there. And that's an annual trip we absolutely love to do. We spend a lot of time boating. Um, we're all avid water skiers. We love to play outdoor games. So anything outdoors is what you're going to find us doing. I work at Sacred Heart Hospital in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I work in the critical care unit and I went to nursing school right out of high school, got my degree and I knew, I always knew I wanted to take care of people. It's just a wonderful thing when you can make a difference in somebody's life. You can care for somebody that's so critically ill or if even the patient doesn't realize that you're caring for them and you can help their family through such a difficult time, it's a very rewarding career. I also teach group fitness classes and um, we have a great group of ladies. We have a group of about 15 gals that have been together now for 10 years exercising and we do everything from running the hills downtown Chippewa Falls to doing spinning, we do aerobics, we lift weights, we do all kinds of cross training, boot camp type activities. We really have a good time together. It's not only a social activity for us, but it's a way for us to get our exercise in and feel healthy and enjoy each other's company. The Wisconsin archery season was coming up and we had gone up about a month beforehand and hung a set of stands. So we knew where we wanted to hunt this year. We had trail cam photos of some deer coming out into this um, field that had soybeans and alfalfa in it. And so we went out, we, we hung a set and, you know, cut the tree, got the limbs perfect. So we had some coverage, but not too much coverage. And we knew that that was going to be a really good spot. We had seen quite a few nice, big, mature bucks and hoped that we'd get one coming through on that same, same pattern. Went up opening weekend, sat, sat in that set of stands. We didn't have much luck. We didn't see that many deer. Uh, so we decided to go home, try it the next weekend. And the next weekend ended up by being a perfect weekend. First night, we saw a nice buck. Uh, he was out of my range. He was about 44 yards out, and so I didn't feel comfortable taking the shot. You'll be all right. There's a bigger one out here. Don't worry about it. That was a long shot. Real Deal Mineral. Deer eat it gone.
Real Deal Mineral is the real deal. Other minerals on the market contain up to 70% salt. Real Deal has less than 7% salt and more of the minerals deer need to grow bigger horns. And bigger horns mean bigger trophies. I tried Real Deal Mineral for the first time and I had over a thousand pictures on my trail cameras in less than a week. Real Deal Mineral. Check out our website or a dealer near you. At Kobe Chrysler Center, we know that buying a new car is a big deal. So we do our best to make it feel right at home. The car you buy has to feel right, so it won't crash into something that isn't what you want. Just the best selection and unbeatable prices. Stop in now to see the 2012 Chrysler lineup, including the redefined stylings of the Chrysler 200. Our commitment to you doesn't end with the sale. We are here for you anytime you need us. At Colby Chrysler, it's all about making you feel at home and ready to hit the road. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Conceptual design, quality printing, and custom applications. Pro Designs Sign and Printing Solutions. Over 20 years of professional service and experience. Pro Designs in Medford, from original concept to finished product. Get the recognition your business deserves. Pro Designs Sign and Printing Solutions. Offering professionally guided, all-inclusive packages, Canada Outdoor Adventures is a U.S.-based company specializing in great hunting adventures in Alberta, British Columbia, New Zealand, and beyond. Whether you're seeking that trophy of a lifetime, planning a hunt for you or your group, or taking your son or daughter on their first adventure, let Canada Outdoor Adventures handle all the details for you. To contact a pro staff member near you, visit our website, Canada Outdoor Adventures, the adventure of a lifetime. Hey everyone, we love to see the photos of the animals you harvest and the fish you catch here on Outdoor Bound TV. Well, this season, Petrick Service Station of Independence has teamed up with the SPM Apparel to bring you some great prizes just for submitting your photos to the show. Simply log on to the Outdoor Bound TV website, click on the Submit Photo button, and all the instructions and contest rules are right there. All photos submitted will automatically be entered into the grand prize drawing. A Remington Model 700-270 rifle, compliments of Petrix Service Station. Anyone selected for the show will receive an Outdoor Bound TV t-shirt, compliments of ESPM Apparel. All entries must be received by December 1st to qualify. And remember, you can't win if you don't submit your photo. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. Next night we set up in the same spot. We had quite a few deer out in the field. We had some smaller bucks. They were nice young bucks, year and a half, two and a half year old. But I really had seen that buck the night before and we had another monster buck on camera up there and we, I just wanted a chance at one of those two deer. We were sitting there and John said, you keep your eye on this area over here, I'm gonna watch the field for you. We were sitting there and all of a sudden I looked up and here is this big 10 pointer coming out of this chute.
So this 10 pointer was out feeding right in front of us, right around the corner, and the monster was right with him. And when my 10 pointer came out around the corner, I asked John, I said, should I take this one? Because I really wanted the monster. He was back around the corner, but we had a feeling that he would not come out. So when my 10 pointer came out, I decided that this was gonna be my buck this year. I drew back, he stopped. I had a limb right in front of me and my heart was just pounding. I knew that this was a buck I was gonna take and I was pretty excited. I said, oh, come on, come on, I just need one more step. He wouldn't take that final step. As I sat and held, I was like, oh my gosh. John didn't realize I had a limb in front of me. And he's like, what is she waiting for? What is she waiting for? So I sat at full draw for about two minutes and finally he decided he was a little itchy. He reached up and itched and he opened up his shoulder just enough. And I released that arrow, and as soon as I released it, I knew it was a good shot. I hit him perfectly. I was so excited. I just sat there and thought, oh, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. Watch this. Watch this. You drilled that thing. Oh my gosh. The other one. I had that limb right there and I was getting so scared. We had three bucks that came in and they've been sitting over here for about 20, 25 minutes and I was standing with my bow ready. My hand was falling asleep. John, we had this one feeding here for about 20 minutes straight. He stepped out and John goes, take him. Oh, holy moly. It's a way to stay up on a Sunday night and get a buck. It was awesome. I hit him. He ran out into the field. He turned around and looked at us and just kind of went like, what just hit me? And we watched him drop over. It was excellent, excellent ending. All right, we just got down, down on the tree and we're gonna go back and get the girls, but I'm so excited that I have to go up and see what he really looks like first. So we still have about 45 minutes of daylight. We're gonna go over and take a look at my book. Once we knew that the deer was down and that we had him, we really wanted to go back and get the girls. Ashley was hunting in a field just not very far from us, and so we wanted to let her sit as long as possible in hopes that maybe the monster would go over into her field. So we went back to the cabin, we got Sarah. She was so excited that I had gotten a deer. Isn't that awesome, Sarah? <laughs> we got her all dressed up. We went over and got Ashley down out of her stand, and at first I think she was a little upset that we interrupted her hunt. But then, as we told her, you know, Ash, mom got a big buck. Then she was excited to be able to come down and go over. And it was just awesome walking up to that deer with the girls, one on either side of me, and they just got so excited. They went running up, and they love to touch the horns, and they like to look at the animal, and appreciate I mean a white tail is such an absolutely amazing creature and when you think about it when you go down and you sit by that white tail and you actually touch it you get to put your hands on those horns and you think wow this is what we spend hours for out here in the woods planting food plots setting tree stands shooting bow I and mean, we shoot bow for weeks on end making sure that you're dialed in you can shoot up to 40 yards accurately and then when you get out there and you actually, it all comes together at one time, your scent control and everything, and you look at this creature that God's provided for us and we have now, and you've got your hands on its horns, it's just amazing. This was the second year in a row on September 26th that I had drilled a 10 point buck. On the other side of the ravine, right there is where I shot my 10 pointer last year. Holy moly, these four plots are fantastic. So it was a fantastic feeling. I just couldn't believe that it had happened two years in a row. Luck, skill, whatever it might be. 
You know, folks, if you'd like to check out more Van's hunts, he is also featured on Working for Whitetail's television on the Sportsman's Channel, or you can check out one of her hunts on the Drop Time Divas DVD. Pick it up today. I got involved with the Drop Tine Divas and working for Whitetails through a friend of mine, John Herman. He knew Tara and Shelly from the Drop Tine Divas, so John and I went out, put down a big buck, and were able to get on the DVD the first year. And now with the working for Whitetails television show, um, I've been actually able to harvest two nice bucks on film again. So it's been a lot of fun, a great group of people to work with. Um, very supportive in our hunting, love their philosophy of hunting, you know, it's all about family, working your own land, planting food plots, fixing stands, making sure that they're all safe, um, finding new areas to hunt, setting trail cams, I mean it's a lot of work in order to harvest one of these animals, but that's what we enjoy. Bow hunting holds a real special spot in my heart, it's just an amazing sport that you can do with your whole family. I've been able to get my brother into bow hunting and now with the daughters becoming bow hunters and it's something that John and I have done for years. Um, that night after I shot my deer to get out there and have both of my daughters with me and John with me and to be able to all stand around this magnificent animal. It's just, it's a feeling that you can't explain to people that have never done it. It's such an emotional and exciting time and to share it with the people you truly love is just amazing. And congratulations, that was a great hunt and a great buck. Next, we get a chance to spend an afternoon chasing walleyes on the water in northern Minnesota with pro staffers Tim Roycraft and Kevin Campbell. Let's pick up the action on beautiful Sand Lake, Minnesota, right now. everyone, today we're in northern Minnesota. We're fishing Sand Lake. Now Sand Lake, oh, and there's a fish right there. Feels like a walleye. I don't know what to say about that. Now Sand Lake is one of those proverbial tough lakes to fish because it is a shallow basin. It doesn't have a whole lot of structure in it, so normally we're fishing weed edges and small rock and gravel beds. It's pretty tough to find fish, but when you do, you usually get a couple of them at a time.
Now it's mid-June and we've got a bit of a high pressure today, so it's pretty tough conditions to find these walleyes. But we're going to take a look for some weed edges and some rock beds to see if we can find some walleyes suspended and ready to feed. There's a fish. Folks, these walleyes are starting to come in on some of the rocks here this evening. Uh, the night bite has started. Hopefully we're going to get a few of these in the boat. I'm just moving a jig along with a plastic and uh, looks like the walleyes are starting to like it. Now this one's a little bit smaller than what we've caught already today, but uh, it's a good sign. That means these fish are starting to come up in the shallows. They're starting to feed. Uh, the sun is just starting to hit the trees and the wind is laid down. So hopefully uh, we get a few more of these a uh, little bit bigger boys coming in and we'll be able to put a limit of these in the boat here tonight on Sand Lake in northern Minnesota. One of the things I like to do when I'm walleye fishing is, especially if I'm using a plastic, when I put the plastic on the jig, I like to put it on just a little bit crooked. One of the things that does, it gives your plastic and your jig a little bit of a sporadic movement when you move through the water. On your natural jigging action, instead of a straight up and down motion, the jig is going to tend to dart to one side or the other. So next time you hook up your plastic on a jig, Hook it up just a little bit crooked and it will help you catch more fish. Folks, join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around Wisconsin, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Hey, do you want to stay up to date on the cast and crew of Outdoor Bound TV? Find them on Facebook or you can log on to their website, OutdoorBound.tv. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral, Deer Eat It Gone, Colby Chrysler Center, Welcome Home to Colby Chrysler, Pro Designs, Sign and Printing Solutions, Canada Outdoor Adventures, The Adventure of a Lifetime. Here we go. Making fun of my slippers. Well, it's a little pretty. Pretty. Sorry, I'm fixing my hair. I like it. Is that good enough? Or... All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay, let me try again. Blah, 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 blah. That's interesting. I'm going to look at that little thing instead of looking at you. Like that? Like where my eyes crossed? I'm going to concentrate. Are we ready? His voice sounds so much nicer than mine. Can't he do it? Mm -hmm.